Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to run Windows on any iPad or tablet. Windows are not normally supported on mobile phones and tablets, but by using the VPS we can install and run Windows on any iPad just like this and install any Windows app you'd like. So what exactly is a VPS? A VPS is a virtual private server that uses virtualization technologies to split a physical computer into multiple private servers and share the resources among users. First, we go to Fusura and create an account. Fusura in this case is a VPS company which we are going to use to run this entire setup. I already have an account so I'm just going to sign in. After a successful login, let's head back to the home page by clicking on the Fusura logo. And from here we are going to select VPS hosting. And here we go. So there are servers at different locations depending on which you want. Now whichever you choose is fine, but I would recommend you choose the one closer to you. Now in this case, I am going with Germany server since it is much cheaper than the rest of them. It starts from 5 euro. And for this, we are getting 2 gig RAM, 1 dedicated core and 20 gig storage. You can start with the basic plan for just one month and if you like your experience, you can migrate to any of the higher plans here with more features. In my case, I already subscribed to the normal Pro DE plan using the Ryzen 9 9950X 3D with 4 dedicated cores, 8 gig RAM and 100 gig storage and also an unlimited 10 gigabits per second shared uplink. So to proceed, simply select the plan you'd like to buy. There are multiple options aside Fusura like Google Cloud, Amazon AWS, Microsoft Azure among others you can try out. You could even get free $300 credit or more for some of them and try it out for free. Here you can set your billing circle to monthly if you just want to test it or you can go semi-annually. So let's just try with monthly and then you select the disk size. Default is 100 gig for 22 euros. If you want to add more, you can add it for a little more. So let's just leave it at default. Here you're going to select the location of your server, Germany, Frankfurt. Let's leave this as it is. From here we can select the operating system we want to install. In our case, we want to install Windows. So select Windows. So the Windows Server 2019 is on the Windows 10 code base. And I would recommend Windows Server 2025 which is on the Windows 11 code base. So let's select Windows Server 2025 and continue. Here you can make the payment and the password to your VPS will be sent to you. Now after buying the VPS plan, we can simply head to vps.fusura.com and you should see your VPS plan right there. In my case, this is iPadOS and we are going to select it. Once you log into Fusura VPS, you are going to see your VPS right here. And from here, we can boot the VPS by clicking on boot. And down here under the statistics, you should see the logs, when it was shut down, when it was built, and the last time it was boot as well. So if there is any error, you're going to see it here as well. Now we can connect to the server using the information we got in our mail. So let's use our iPad and continue the process. Now open App Store on your iPad. And then search for Windows. And then download Windows App Mobile. Now let's open. We are going to allow. And click on the plus icon to add a new device. And we select PC. The PC name, the host name right here is going to be our server address. Now these are not my actual server details so don't try to connect. And then we head back, click on the credentials and then add credentials. The username is administrator, it should be the same in your case. And the password as well. And then you can save, go back and then save. Now we can simply click on the PC connection to launch.
to change the resolution simply click on the windows icon and then select the resolution you'd like here and that's all from here we can use the vps and run any software we want just like our regular pc the links to all the resources mentioned in this video will be provided in the video description i conducted a speed test on this server and it was quite impressive the download speed over 3 gigabits per second and the upload speed over 3 gigabits per second as well 4 idle latency 40 download latency and 4 upload latency this should be able to handle whatever you need it for there are many other things you can use a vps to do including automations which you can look into you can also use the vps to host websites or use it as a cloud storage for your photos and videos i made a video covering that and i will link it in the video description if this video was helpful kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one